Hey nesters, welcome back to the channel, Nesting Haven. Today I am going to share with you a Goodwill thrift haul. I picked up several items to resell online in my Etsy store and eBay stores. Those are both linked in the description menu below. If you happen to see anything of interest, you can definitely always go check those out there. So let's go ahead and get into the haul and see what I picked up. Now these first items are really neat. I've never seen these Holland molds before. I usually see the ones that are florals, but I found a set of two. This is a really nice wilderness scene of the bear. And the other one is an eight point buck. I can't hold them up together because they're quite heavy, but this one is the eight point buck. And I did see a couple of these listed. I will say with the Holland molds, the worth price is going to vary it really depends on the talent of the artist so if they have a lot more detailing to them which mine does you can see the trees have lines they're shadowing in throughout the legs so this this artist definitely had a good eye and knew what they were doing lots of color variation throughout them a beautiful beautiful set now, I think I'm going to list these individually for $25 plus free shipping. I feel that's a fair price for what I saw other ones listed at and for, you know, the style that they were. I was considering listing them as a set and I might do that still, but for right now, we'll say $25 plus shipping a piece. So I forgot to say what I paid for these. I did get 25% off my entire order with my discount card. And those were only marked a dollar a piece. I could not believe it. Usually the Holland molds, even the floral ones, are at least two or three bucks. So that was a steal of a price, really. I ended up paying 75 cents a piece, so a dollar fifty for the set. Super good find there. This was marked two dollars, so I paid a dollar fifty for it. And it's this really nice, good size creamer. I think it would even work well as a gravy boat. And it is put out by FTDA. It's made in Japan. It's the Especially For You brand. And this is from 1989. So it's a nice little set. It definitely has those 80 colors, right? Those very light pastel colors. And yeah, so I think I can get about $20 for this with free shipping. I did decide to go ahead and pick up the 100 Years of Disney Magic glass put out by McDonald's and it was priced too so I paid $1.50 for it and these McDonald's glasses are a super solid good quality and there are people that are still buying these so I think I can get about $14 to maybe $16 with free shipping for that. So one of my favorite things to pick up are state souvenir pieces, and I've never come across salt and pepper shakers like this before. So this says scenic South Dakota, and it has Mount Rushmore and the Badlands on it, and I thought this was a really fun. They had it priced too, I paid $1.50 for it. I like that they had the original cork in the bottom, and these are put out by Thriftco, made in Japan. They are a little bit dirty, I'm going to have to clean them up. There's a little bit of vintage wear to them, but overall they're really cool. I feel like a lot of people would just use them for decor anyways, that's what I would use them for. I do collect state souvenir things, but I think I am going to list these, and I think I can get about somewhere between 12 to $18 for them with free shipping. So the next state souvenir piece that I picked up was this Washington DC bowl, and it has this really beautiful ripple around it. And when I saw it in the thrift store, I thought it was really gorgeous. I love the graphics to it. It has the president's seal in the center here and all of the different buildings and monuments and whatnot that is in Washington, D.C. Absolutely gorgeous. At the time, it didn't dawn on me that it was an ashtray, and I think that was its original intent. That is what all these little ripples are for to rust their cigarette and but I don't think people will use this as an ashtray it's just too pretty I feel like there was a lot of ashtrays that were gorgeous they were you know smoking back then was a very common thing to do so they did have beautiful ashtrays they were a home decor item right but I feel like this day and age, people are not going to do that with this. I feel like it's just going to be one of those things that people can either toss change in or it can set some jewelry in 
or something like that. So I think I'm still going to list it. I don't really think it stands out as an ashtray. It definitely didn't to me. And I think someone will still enjoy this. So it was marked $3. I paid $2.25 for it. And I think I can get about Oh, $25 with free shipping. So this here is really cool. This is my next state souvenir piece. It does say Alaska really lightly right here. And it has the killer whale, I believe is what that is. I love the horn shape to this. It's actually a coffee mug. But like I said in my thrift with me, I feel like if you decorate in nautical decor or kind of have that beach kind of oceanside theme in your bathroom, it would make an excellent place to put your toothbrushes or makeup brushes or hair brushes or whatever. So I don't think you necessarily have to use it for a coffee mug. It was marked $2. I paid $1.50 for it with my 25% off discount. And I think I can get about $18 to $26 for it with free shipping. And the last state souvenir piece I found was this beautiful New Hampshire state souvenir creamer or syrup pitcher perhaps and the neat thing about this is it has purple on it which purple decor is hard to come by anyways so we got a purple finch and then we got the purple lilac here now this is mad craze there is crazing throughout this whole piece which i know there is a following for crazed items some people prefer it and if that is you this is definitely the item for you it's crazed throughout the inside as well and i really do like the crazing on it when it is just throughout the entire piece if it's just a little bit it kind of doesn't look that nice but it just kind of adds to the character of it i think so it's really gorgeous anyone that has ties to new hampshire would definitely enjoy this i think and yeah so i paid a dollar fifty for it and i think i can get about 22 dollars for it with free shipping this next item surprised me that I found because I have never seen vintage cameras in the thrift store. I've always looked for them, but I've never seen them, and this was the first one I have found. This is a vintage Kodak camera. It is the Brownie 8 in the f2.7, and yeah, I, don't, I just thought it was really cool. It was a movie camcorder. I don't know if it works. I know nothing about it, so I will list it as is because I don't really know what I'm doing as far as it. But I know a lot of people like to collect these and just use them as decor. I've seen several people just put them on a shelf and, you know, just display them that way. So, yeah, I thought it was really cool. They have a little wind-up <laughs> on the side. It's very neat. I thought it had a really cool look to it. And someone that is familiar with the camera, I'm sure, will know how to check it to see if it works if they want to. I don't really even know how I would go about testing it because I don't know how these ones work. <laughs> I am a millennial, so yeah, I'm a little bit foreign when it comes to this, but it looks really cool. And I did do some comps on these and it looks like I could get about $40 for it with free shipping. This next item I picked up, I am going to resell in my antique booth because when I looked up comps on it, it seemed there were enough more than enough online so i will go ahead and put this in my antique booth and hopefully have a quick sale there it was marked six dollars so i paid 450 with my 25 percent off and this is an unmarked fire king so this particular design here the blue flowers it's found on a couple of federal pieces as well but it's mostly a fire king known for fire king right and since it's unmarked i shared with you guys earlier this week in the news feed of my youtube my tip on just you know how to identify fire king items by the handles so if you missed that video i will share it again in my weekly recap of a playlist that i'll post tomorrow so be sure to check that out if you want to know the trick to knowing if it's fire king or not if it's not labeled but yeah i thought this would do okay i probably can sell it for about 14 to maybe 16 dollars in my booth so not a bad profit there so this next set here is something i saw several weeks ago at the store store and I kind of regretted not picking them up, but they were marked $5, and I was just a little hesitant about it. 
at the time. They were still marked $5, but that day I was actually purchasing more items and I knew I'd get the 25% discount, so I only paid $3.75 for them. And what they are, are really neat American Eagle, not the store brand, you know, the actual Eagle, uh, like bicentennial style measuring cups. And I found something to be interesting about these in particular. I'll show you here. So the size range in these really was fascinating to me. So you got your standard one cup. You can see it's a Japan piece. They're put out by Nanco. And then we have the half cup and the fourth cup, but it doesn't have the three fourths cup, which I, it might be more of a modern standard of measuring cups, but I always have had a three fourths cup. So I kind of looked into these to see if the original set was maybe just missing one. It wasn't, it came this way. And what they had instead was a one eighth cup. I have never in my life seen a one eighth cup. I thought that was so neat. So I think because a lot of vintage recipes probably called a lot for what would have been like two tablespoons, right? Would equal one eighth cup. So I think that is why, and it was just an easier way to do the two tablespoons all at once. But that is so fun. I've never seen that size before. So I think this set is a little bit more unique because it does have that size. And of course it has the beautiful eagle on it. And it's not so Americana that you would, you know, could only put out for 4th of July or Memorial Day season. You could definitely leave it out year round. I really love the mustard yellow color to it. And I think I can get about 28 to 35 bucks with free shipping. So this next item I picked up and I only picked up because of my viewers because I've had lots of people voice that they like precious moments items. I picked up another bell and it's probably the last bell I'll buy. I've been picking up way too many lately. They're not really selling. I think I've sold two. And I don't know, it's a Precious Moments Bell and it's in the But Love Goes On Forever design. It was marked a dollar, paid 75 cents for it. And I think I can probably get about eight to maybe $10 for it plus shipping. So we will see how it does. Hopefully a viewer will be happy that I picked it up because that's the only reason why I did. I'm not really into the Precious Moments items and I feel like they're not the best for resale. Um, I just don't see them go for a whole lot. So I don't typically pick them up, but I know there is a market for them. There's a lot of people that like it. So if I ever find a good deal on it, I definitely will go ahead and grab it. This was another really neat find, something I've never come across before in the thrift store. And it is a Franciscan branded bread plate. And this is in the Pickwick pattern. I love the name of that pattern. And it's just kind of like pears and fruit around the edge there. They had it marked $5, which is very reasonable. There are five plates there, so about a dollar a plate. I paid $3.75 for the set with my discount. And I think I can get about 30 to $35 for this with free shipping. I did pick up something to use myself. I saw these jars in a bag. Mainly wanted the three green ones. There is a yellow one as well. The bag was priced $2, so I paid a buck 50 for them. And I thought they would look really nice in Christmas decor. I have a lot of green glassware. I don't think these ones are particularly old, but I thought they would still look really cool with my Christmas decor and I could use them for some kind of craft or something. So there's two of these style ones there. And then the other green one is this one here. That's the ones I wanted the most. And this little amber yellow colored one's not bad. Uh, they look really good in the fall time. I don't tend to decorate with this because it's not my most favorite color. I think it kind of resembles something that's, you know, <laughs> to do with the bathroom. It kind of definitely looks like urine, right? So let's be honest. <laughs> that's why I usually don't like this amber glass, but it's, I know it's nice and in light, it does look a lot better. So I'm sure this one will be resold probably just in my antique booth. I don't think it's worth very much. Probably get a few bucks out of it. Yeah, I thought those green vases would be nice for Christmas. The next items I picked up were a set of four glasses. They are in a Norman Rockwell design and they're all black and white, which I thought was so neat. So this one here is Sporting Boys Choose choosing up <laughs> so they're picking teams or who gets to go first and then this one is the disastrous daring and the theme is it seems like there's all little boys in it so it's that classic vintage little boys you know 
Norman Rockwell theme, and I really love them. They're marked $2 a piece, so I paid $1.50 each. This one says Fisherman's Paradise. It's a little, two little boys on a dock with their dog fishing, and they're under umbrella, so it must be raining while they're fishing. And I don't know if that's a thing, if that helps, if rain helps fish jump, I'm not really sure, maybe that's a thing. And then this one is a licking good bath, and they're taking a bath with their, well, I guess I'm not taking it with their dog, but the dog's nearby, and he's in one of those wooden wash barons, I guess, that they used to take baths in, I don't really know. But yeah, that's kind of cute as well. So I thought it was really fun, it'd be a fun set, and I think it'd be a nice gift for a man as well. I think I can get about 30 to $32 for the set of four, and those are cool, I've never seen them before. And you guys that watch the thrift with me know what an amazing deal I got on these collector plates of Norman Rockwell. Now, you saw the entire shelf was filled with them. I saw one price tag, I looked through all of them. I think there was a couple boxes on the bottom that might have had a price tag as well, but I only found one tag on all of those plates and it said $5 for the set. I did go up and ask them to make sure because I didn't want to load them all in my cart and have to unload them because I wasn't paying $5 each or $5 for like two. I wasn't quite sure what was going on. She's like, yeah, it's for all of it. So they wanted to get rid of it. It wasn't $5, it was $10 for the set. So I paid $7.50. Okay, yeah, so I paid $7.50 for the full set of them with my discount amazing deal. I think I can get about eight to $12 a piece for these plus shipping. I'm going to auction these off on eBay just because I feel like individually as well, I feel like the image is something that you have to kind of has to speak to you and I don't feel like anyone's going to adorn their entire wall or their cabinet with these. I mean, they might, but I really feel like maybe one or two, maybe four that you might want to put in your own collection and you would want to hand select which one. So I'm not going to sell them as a lot. I will sell them individually for about eight to $12, but I'm going to put them on auction. I think I'll probably start them at $5 a piece on auction plus shipping and we will see what they do. But I think I'll do okay on them. I think that was definitely my best score of the day. I did look over in the vinyl real quick after I look at the lamps and I found this Disney record. This is Walt Disney's Happiest Songs. I love the images on it and it was priced $2 so I paid $1.50 for it. And a lot of these songs are on the last one if you guys saw that haul, but they had Bare Necessities on this and on that other album that I just picked up, it had a, like a broken record. It would go whoop, whoop, like sing the same thing over and over again on Bare Necessities. And that was the song my husband was most excited was on the record. So when I saw this one had it, I was like, yes, let's go ahead and get this. And hopefully that one works. So this might have all of the songs that we like on the other one. So I might be able to just go ahead and let that one go and keep this one. So definitely a good little find there. This one here is from 1967 and my kids have really been enjoying playing all of these old vinyls. They think the songs are really fun. Okay, so I have one other thing that I picked up in a huge lot and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them. I don't know if I should just put them in my antique booth or if I should sell some online and kind of do half and half. But let me show you what it is. It's really heavy. <laughs> I got an entire bag of Bootin wear this Mel Mac cups in the mint green. There are 50 cups total. They had $3 marked on the bag. So I paid $2.25 for these. Like I said, I don't quite know what to do with them, but I know there is a market for them. So I definitely, for that price, was going to pick them up. So this is yet to be determined what is going to happen with these, but I still wanted to show you my sweet score there. I'm sure there is some money to be made. I picked up this music box here. I thought it was really nice with the carousel on it, and it has a really nice wooden base as well. I'm not sure what song it's playing, so I'm going to play the song over on my Instagram, Nesting Haven. And if you guys happen to have an Instagram, definitely go over and check it out and let me know if you happen to know what the song is, that would be helpful. This was priced $2, I paid $1.50 for it, and I think I could probably get about $28, maybe $32, somewhere in that range 
with free shipping. So like I said, if you saw anything you were interested in, the links to my Etsy and eBay are down in the description menu below. And definitely head over to my Instagram. I think if you guys do, you'll be pleasantly surprised or happy. There might just be a secret discount code over there for my Etsy shop. So definitely go check that out because the sale ends midnight Sunday. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already, if you enjoy thrifting and reselling content. And we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.